Tag just got his hunter safety, and now he gets a $50,000 hunt. To start from, from absolute ground zero, I relied a lot on what I've done as a ski racer. You know, this is all stuff that Tag has not done. Today he just did a 27 minute heat lap, settled in here, and rang a 400 gong. Day before we leave, I leave, building the rounds that I'll take with me on the hunt. Starting out, deburring the brass, cleaning it up, making sure there's no resistance. Probably my favorite process out of this whole thing. These seven months have helped me grow so much. I've put myself in uncomfortable situations every day. Going into the hunt, it's no different, right? It's just still a new uncomfortable situation that I'm excited for because I know it will make me better regardless of the outcome. Today, I'm gonna get in the saddle. I'll just learn about horses in general so that when we're up there in Alaska, I'm not spooking, I'm not doing anything stupid and uh, let them help me. That'll be pretty incredible too, as far as like stepping out of a comfort zone. I mean, you're, you're really thinking about a lot of different things at that point. As we all know, that's the advantage that Tech has is from the level of ski racing that he did is he's very, very capable of pushing out that white noise and everything and rising to the pressure and, and performing. Patience, because you know, you'll go out all day and really work hard and you won't see any sheep at all. And you think, my gosh, I thought there were sheep in this country. When you kill that good ram, and you've had the most fantastic day, when you get down to camp, you're gonna cut those ribs out. That's a tradition of a good sheep hunter. And you're gonna put them on a stick. You're gonna put seasoning on them. And you're gonna hold them up against the bonfire. But your sheep heads with the cape is gonna be sitting alongside the fire. And uh, you're going to look at that and say, this is the greatest day of my, of my life. I guarantee it. Uh, that's how special it is. I can't even fathom what that moment would be like. It would be the culmination of all of this hard work and all of those moments, those micro moments of stepping into something that's unknown. And uh, I think that would be the greatest reward I've ever had in my life. I mean, honestly, I would put that above any national championship, like, you know, anything I did in skiing, because <laughs> that's something I grew up with. I grew up on skis. It's, I don't remember my first day on skis. I remember every single step of this process. It's already a win, but I, I can't even wrap my mind around what it would be like to get the job done. August 14th, leaving for Alaska tomorrow. Ready to rip. The reality is like, even the guides are uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, it's like, there are major periods of discomfort. You're gonna have a big smile when you, when you leave, no matter what happens. Like, that's a sweet opportunity. I mean, he's just gotta realize like, this is, fun. My only hope is that he realizes there is no pressure and he's just out there to have the best trip he can have. Yeah, it's crazy. It's here. Oh dude, you'll have a blast dude. I wish I was going with you. Me too, man. The main thing that I would watch for is the burrs. Just looking for shit like that. Just trying to make sure we have 20 perfect rounds. I've never seen anybody work this hard at a single aspect of hunting, let's say in such a short amount of time. I feel 100% confident that if the variables come together and Tag gets a shot, let's say 400 yards or under at a stationary ram, he's gonna kill that animal. He is notorious for forgetting things. No primer. Careful production at the bench. It's bad. That's why I keep uh, the coach around. I'm embarrassed. What if we hadn't caught that? That was the one that you put in. <sighs> Disappointed. 
So I think he probably packed and unpacked about 10 times today. Casey and Ida think that they're helping me pack, <laughs> but they're really not. Good girl. That's a good girl. Ida, you can't come to Alaska. All right, I don't have it. I don't need it. Good luck. So. Come back with a sheep. Will do. Okay. All right. God, I hope I have everything. <laughs> Bridget, I'm filming, so what's your last uh, last words for tag? Don't f it up. <laughs> Deal. August 17th, made it to camp. Till this moment, I was thinking about this hunt and just thinking about a doll sheep. And that's all you need. Cool, thanks. All right, you're welcome. That was Good really luck. real. <laughs> This experience is just cool. And I think that that's starting to hit home more and more the deeper we go and the farther in we get. That cloud ceiling started to lift a little bit, you know, just enough to kind of give me some confidence. Far ramps, that we can see. I can't even imagine, wrap my mind around again, how much deeper that can be and how much more of a life-changing experience this can turn out to.